Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralus and today I want to tell you guys a little bit about lighting on your Reef Aquarium. Explain to you a couple different brands, um, LED versus T8 that I have here with me today and kind of compare some likes and dislikes that I have so far about the different brands. Uh, right here I have the AI Hydro 26 LED and I have the Kessel A360 Tuna, Tuna Blue, this is the wide angle and I have Ecotex Gen 2 Pro. Um, so what I like and dislike about them is right away I'll tell you what I like on the Ecotex. Ecotex are extremely bright and powerful and they really fill up the tank and give you amazing color and lighting. So I do love it. They do have carry a high price tag with them, so that is the only disadvantage of buying that lighting. But Kessel a little more affordable, a little bit nicer spread, but the only problem is you can't penetrate a deep tank with that wide angle lens. So I have a problem with losing lighting quality on the Kessel. Now the AI, the Hydra, so far they've been amazing. You can actually control them from your cell phone directly. The Wi-Fi is built into them. You don't need the reflink and the Kessel you can without the controller uh, do it. So if you want to spend the extra hundred bucks and get the reflink, that's pretty cool because Ecotech does have the MP40s and the other propellers and the pumps that you can add into the controllable Wi-Fi function as well. So that's pretty cool. But as far as power and lighting, I mean, I've been really blown away with the AI, with the Hydra 26. That thing has been kicking butt. So I had some LEDs that I used in my frag tank, and I just feel they were a little underpowered for the frags that I had in there, the Acros, the SPS. So I moved them over here, and right away, the AI has given them plenty of power and taking care of those corals, starting to color right back up. So one of the things I'm going to do to kind of see if I can grow some SPS acros in my frag tank is I'm going to add two more strips of the blue LEDs and see if that brings it up to uh, par. Now the problem is without having an actual par test, I don't know what, I, what I'm fighting with here. So I'm just going by eyes and what visually I can see. Uh, the different wavelengths of light offer different levels of par and, and adding them up together makes a big difference. So if you only have one blue strip and you like to run blues all the time, it may not even be enough to feed the corals. So you may need to add a couple more strips of blue to help give it the level you need to make the zoanthilla produce, you know, the food. So also, um, since we are putting these back on, I'm going to be able to compare what I like again about these uh, TA bulbs. Now they give a great spread and switching back to them I will now know is if I really was as happy as I was as compared to the LEDs. Because usually you go better in technology, you don't go backwards. So we'll see. Um, they, do, they do spread well but we'll see how deep they penetrate. This is a tall tank, it's 30 inches. Most people don't have tanks as tall and I do notice this is a problem. So like I said the Kessels can't make it down to the bottom but the uh, LEDs that I have, uh, the Hydras and the uh, Ecotex have no problem. So, all right guys, I think that covers it for right now. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please leave some of your questions or comments below. If you have any experience with something, uh, feel free to share it with us. So, until next time.